I will say one of the best parts of RV life is also one of the hardest parts of RV life. Kinsley has something to show you. This is oh my. <laughs> Good morning, buddy. Good morning. morning. <laughs> What's up, fellow journeyers? So we're packing up, getting ready to leave um, Hershey RV and Camping Resort. I have to look at this because I think there's like four campgrounds that say, the word, say Hershey in them. We're actually leaving here to go to Hershey. Is it Hershey Camp? Hershey Park. Hershey Park. I think we're like 25-ish minutes away from all the festivities of Hershey. Here's the map. It is a large park. <laughs> and this is hilly in different areas. It's pretty. This whole area is beautiful. Yeah, I'd recommend this park, especially if you have a Thousand Trails membership and you get to stay for free. <laughs> for free because there's a yearly fee, but still, it comes out pretty well. Kids have uh, trashed our site in typical fashion. The Starlink is out. It's done its job. Because cell signal here, all cell signal, T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, not great. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but none of them are great. <laughs> you ever gonna get up, buddy? Trying to get down. <laughs> We're getting ready this morning. Of course, JJ's here. Hensley is not here. You know, we get the question a lot. Socialization with your kids. Where do they go? What do they do? Do they even see other kids? Especially Thousand Trails, which is one of the main reasons we got this membership is for the interaction for ourselves as parents and with kids. Hensley stayed last night with Stuart and Lindsay over here. Living small, dreaming big. Yeah, had a sleepover. You gonna make it today, buddy? You know, you wake up like your mama, huh? Get Starlink, Stowe. and she kept kicking me. You kept pulling the blankets from me. <laughs> because I, am, I always do that every night. Was it I'll fun or not, Hensley? It was. It was, but not in the night. <laughs> What do you think about that uh the navigation on the way here? That looked It was a uh, a little intense, a little touch and go there for a little bit. I mean that's what you get when you get the beautiful northeast. You get those low clearance bridges. So I've still got my Google Maps up for our next spot from here to Hershey Park RV camping resort oasis whatever it's called <laughs> so but i want a redundancy so i'm gonna try out um i've tried it out in the past i'm gonna try it out again because i'm really rooting for this app and a lot of you have heard of it rv trip wizard i'm gonna let it do the navigation my secondary navigation because rv trip wizard has my the height the weight the length everything is tied into this app because man <laughs> low bridges tight turns hilly traffic construction northeast has it all Oh yeah, I love chocolate. You two stay on the mat, don't get off. Wee, wee. It's good to have a huge mat. We do the stay on the mat rule. <laughs> What's convenient about this campground at Hershey Park is they have a shuttle that kind of takes you to all the Hershey experiences. You've got Hershey Park, which is a theme park that you can shuttle to, all the factory tours and all the excursions that they do, um, all things Hershey. We thought, wow, that's, that's a really cool idea to be able to take the shuttle over. What we didn't plan on was that <laughs> Now we're past Labor Day season and Hershey Park's only open on the weekend and we scheduled a meetup 
this weekend. Oh, I thought that was a pig. It's a dog. <laughs> and we, we have a meetup scheduled on Saturday uh, and we leave on Sunday. So we came for the shuttle, but we're not even going to get to make it to Hershey Park because it's only open the weekend and we were hoping to go during the week. And then the next thing we're not going to be able to take the shuttle is because we found a crepe restaurant and we want to go eat crepes before a Hershey chocolate factory tour. Now that I'm saying it out loud, that's a, that's a lot of sweetness. You think of all the stuff Hershey makes, Hensley? You ever had Kit Kat? Uh, yeah. They make that. You ever had a Reese's Pieces? Uh, yeah, that's your favorite candy. That is. They make that. You ever had a Hershey Kiss? Uh, yeah, of course. It has an insane. No, well, they don't make those, actually. <laughs> I know you're kidding. I am kidding. They make that too. Love the short bed. Look at that. What'd you draw? I drew a heart. I'm not really good at it. Oh, I think it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. and we so, have oh, that's a good one, isn't it? Are they bleeding the bench wise? We'll see what they There you go. So you just write down the number of what you want. Right. Lindsay's got like eight numbers. How many numbers you got, Lindsay? Be honest. I, I can't even eat any of this. So <laughs> this is just all my wishful thinking, and I'm gonna look at it and smell it. Oh, Hensley. Is it good? Yes. <laughs> Salmon, they got salmon? Yes. Cream cheese is Audrey's favorite thing. That looks so good. Go check that out. What we got here? Chocolate strawberry, huh? JJ wanted french fries. There weren't even french fries on the menu. Next thing you know, he came out and he made french fries for JJ. How, where, Not even where charging did he us. even get those? I yeah. don't even know. I don't know where it they came from. It was just really sweet. Um, he had a sign as you walked in next to the door saying, if you've been hurt by COVID, come in for a free meal. So just, I don't know, the whole vibe. Loved it. Loved it. Good pick. That chocolate building. Hensley, do you know you've been here before? Uh, look yeah, at you that just told me. Do you, it was a little different. We're hoping uh, last time we were here, the like Hershey tour was being renovated. So we didn't get to see too much on our ride. It was like all electronic and it was like shut down and covered up with plastic. <laughs> What do you think that thing was up there? <laughs> so we're hoping our experience is a little different this time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Welcome to Smells Like You might not have imagined this, but our um, our kids love chocolate. <laughs> Ever since we said we're going to a chocolate factory, that's all he's talked about. You know the term, like a kid in a candy store? It's like a kid in a candy factory. <laughs> he's a chocolate factory. This is a chocolate factory, then where is the Chocolate. <laughs> you know, this is more of the customer experience chocolate factory. This is the Hershey factory tour. So this is just like a little ride through Hershey history. This one is a free 15 minute kind of like amusement park type simulation, I guess. For your safety, please remain seated with your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. Lots of heat through intense pressure and friction. JJ, get your chocolate. Don't forget your chocolate, buddy. 
life. It's actually really smart. After every activity they do here, they apparently give out chocolate. <laughs> it's like it does really go. Whether it's mediocre or awesome, everybody's excited because they get chocolate at the end. Hey, Hensley. How cool is it that you get to learn about Hershey's chocolate for school today? That's awesome! <laughs> So the ride was definitely more um, informational this time. We actually got the history of, of the how the chocolate is made. And we have not done this trolley tour before, so this is new and the kids love trolleys. My name's Dirk, I'm your conductor today. I'm the guy that's gonna point out all the landmarks along the way, but more importantly, folks, I honestly have the privilege of telling you the story of one of the most remarkable men in American history, Milton S. Hershey. But they're seventy dollars. That's forty. <laughs> Surprise, mommy. You want to? Yes. That's taller than. That's like half of my body. <laughs> Is that everything? Yeah, that's Is it. Doing a bag? Nah, I'm scared. Hide yeah. it, daddy. Alright, yeah, go show your mom. I don't know how you're gonna hide that. Kinsley has something to show you. Just oh my! <laughs> we were doing this. Remember, hold the regular one. Up. <laughs> what are we going to do with all that chocolate? We're going to have s'mores for a month. What are we going to do with five pounds of chocolate? hard to get going, especially when everything's changing. If you're in the same routine all the time, it's much easier to keep up a routine. But when your location is changing, it's like, it makes it harder to, to keep up any sort of routine. So it's so easy for me to say, oh, we're at a new place, right? It's vacation, but it's like, you still have to like get moving. And it can be so hard sometimes. You go girl. <laughs> We have an eight o'clock rule. And it's not a hard rule, it's an eight o'clock guideline. And the guideline is that the kids stay in the bed until eight o'clock. So Marissa and I can maybe, not for sure, but just maybe have some time together, drink some coffee, have some routine if we wanna do a run, work out, a little bit of work done. It's not happening this morning. Both the kids are up. They've been up for 15 minutes. They're just ready. You wanna get down? Did I already give you some books? Yeah. Why did you want to get out of bed so much? Audrey. Yeah. Because Audrey's I just up. literally heard them outside. Yeah, <sighs> and, uh, uh. It's hard for the kids too. They can hear the animals. <laughs> they can see the sunrise. They know we're somewhere new. And not only that, I mean, we're caravanning with another family. There are lots of animals on here. We gotta <laughs> see some animals. Come on, are you gonna see some? Let's go see them. Come on. We got <laughs> Look at these hippos, buddy. Mm. Oh, those are pigs. Hey. Yeah, I asked Stuart and Lindsay with all this. If this is like zip lines for the animals or what. They said this is probably for hawks. It uh, messes with their vision, deters them from uh, grabbing a snack. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we got to see some more animals. All right, what else we got? Show me more animals. Whoa. Look at those bald eagles. Oh, where did that one go? What kind of animal is that? Okay, is it a peacock? Can you say peacock? Um, look at this rainbow one. Yeah, a rainbow one, yeah. There's pretty. another rainbow one. Yeah, let's go see some more. 
like that. Oh. Give it to her like that. Oh. I'm like, like I'm these so yesterday we left Hershey, Pennsylvania, and we're heading down. Um, we're heading to Virginia, and it was a little bit longer of a drive than than we wanted. We just needed kind of a one night stopover in the Harvest Host app, and you can plug in your route. And so we plugged in Hershey to Virginia, and you can see all the little farms, wineries, all the little stops along the way, museums, whatever tickles your fancy. <laughs> and so we found we found this, um, it's called Adventure Awaits Retreat, which is something I've never seen yet on Harvest House, but it is a campground that they have like boondocking spots or harvest host spots so you can come and you can upgrade if you want and we did last night we upgraded and got electric um you can go pick out some some farm eggs to kind of support them here it is such a cool experience um, our kids have absolutely loved getting to see all the animals and jj especially man he is um i think he's gonna be a farmer one day <laughs> he don't like it <laughs> i will say one of the best parts of rv life is also one of the hardest parts of rv life one of the best parts is our house moves it has wheels it's it can go anywhere but it's also one of the most exhausting parts is the constant moving of our home and prepping to move and setting back up and prepping and cleaning and sweeping and you know because slides in and out it can be exhausting so i'm excited to get to our next campground and have like a long period of time to kind of be in this one place for a bit because we've been moving from event to event here in the last few weeks because even though we only stopped for one night i found this under the slide this can wreak havoc on an rv slide I'm not gonna lie, the northeast makes me nervous as it is. You get on these little, is this a peninsula? What's this called? It's a landing. A landing? Look at this little road. Oh my goodness. Is that a two lane? We are not gonna be able to pass anybody else on this road. This is so narrow. Looks like it officially gave up on trying to be a two lane. There wasn't more than one way to come in here, was it? Finally made it to Virginia Landing Campground. RVing in the east can be just a little bit stressful, but it's so worth it. If you want to stay in places like the Harvest Host that we stayed in, Adventure Awaits Retreat, you can go to lessjunkmorejourney.com slash HH and get 15% off your Harvest Host membership. And we highly recommend it. It has been amazing for our family and for RV travel. Well, that's our journey for this week. And we will catch you guys later. Give me, give me that song.